all right y'all so we're doing the how to build scarlet black shadow guide right um a lot of you guys requested this one right um i want to try to get these out earlier for you guys since you guys want this damn near right after the character drops so i apologize that you guys are getting it the next day also happy new years to every single one of you guys now that it's officially new years for every single one of you guys right there's just no way that you're still in 2023 because that would be silly but we're going to talk about Scarlet, where right? I've tested her a bunch. I have her leveled up and stuff like that. So I'm going to give you guys the information you need to know. So let's start off with her skills. Actually, no. The first question, do you need dupes? Answer is no, right? She's a character who is surpassing damage from my Red Hood at core two, full overload gear. And she's just much more invested in my Scarlet. My Scarlet with no dupes is hitting harder than that Red Hood, right? Or either on parts. It depends on the situation. It's either as hard or harder. So you don't need dupes for this Scarlet. No, you never need dupes for these crazy, crazy DPSs. The only reason why you would want dupes is if you want the wallpaper, or if you want her to hit even harder. So if you do want one of those two reasonings, I guess, go for the dupes. If you don't, you don't need to go for dupes i know there's three banners out it would be crazy to just go on the scarlet banner when you have modernia and the step up banner as well so decide to summon wisely in terms of her skills right obviously i'm just gonna break it down like quickly her first skill depending on how many times you attack she does uh damage right it just increases depending on the number so three times it's 200 something percent let's just say a final attack to one enemy with the lowest defense six times would be all enemies within a range from the ranges of 400 to 500 percent and then nine times is all enemies just on the field from the range of like 650 to 750 percent of final attack damage distributed so what that means is it's split between all enemies not 750 percent to each enemy it's just 750 in total that is split between a certain amount of enemies right um so there's that the second skill max ammo capacity for 10 seconds and reload 60 percent of the mag when you enter a full burst only affects herself and then her burst skill changes her mechanics on the skill one two one two and three times rather than three six nine times gives herself a massive attack buff and charge damage buff for 10 seconds right so in terms of the priority right what to prioritize the first skill and the burst skill are easily your most important skills right the second skill is something that it's not that it's not noticeable it's just it's not it's not that it's not worth upgrading but when you're comparing it to the first and the burst skill that's definitely your last option right so i would highly recommend to focus on your skill your skill one your skill two not skill two your skill one your burst skill then your skill two reason being is because most of the damage all the damage is coming from her skill one right then the burst skill is what's helping you get even more damage from the skill one and then the skill two is just helping you i guess shoot even more with the ammo capacity and the reload but again depending on the team which we're going to talk about in a bit you don't really that skill is not really that crazy it's good it's good but like you'll see when the second year, right so yeah skill one burst skill skill two that's priority uh priority but level up all of them of course right for the cube it depends on what you're running here because i feel like um resilience cube is something you definitely want to give her if you aren't running a team that has to do with max ammo capacity essentially a reload is quite long and you want to try to get as many damage or as much damage as possible i don't know i feel like the charge speed cube isn't necessary because of the delay um it's still going to be um 0 0.3 second charge time so she's still going to be shooting fast right uh the charge speed is not really with 0 0.3 seconds the charge speed is not really making that much of a difference right um at least i when i used it i don't notice it right let me show you guys what it looks like without the charge speed and with the charge speed so this is what it looks like without the charge speed bro cube and then this is what it looks like with the charge speed cube doesn't really like it's as you can tell because the per not percentage but because the time is so low it's not making a difference realistically so yeah your best your best bet is probably just just the resilience cube or the bastion cube bastion cube bastion cube i think it's bastion cube 
um i still don't know which one it is vision or bastion let me know down below in the comments but yeah either resilience right which gives you the reload speed that i feel like she does lack and then obviously getting back the bullets as well especially with the second skill is going to be very helpful but the charge speed i personally find it to, i find it to be a waste because it's not making a difference clearly right if the seconds are 0 0.3 seconds it's not gonna make a difference by having what mine is level four so i'm only getting a 1.59 percent charge feel like it's not making a difference it's kind of just wasting it if you want me to be generally honest with you guys so yeah i would recommend either resilience or bastion you could have the ja uh, charge damage one if you want it right the onslaught cube if you really want it but then it's like you can get that off overload speaking of overload you should overload gear this character that's a must in terms of the sub effects you definitely want attack percent on all four piece reason being is because again her first skill skills off a of final attack which means every single attack buff this character can get from overload from the other units any type of attack buff this character gets will all be implemented into this damage she outputs so having attack percent on all three piece or all four pieces my bad is mandatory right it's mandatory I would say get one line of max ammo capacity because if you are going to run her with the bunny girls, right, you're definitely never going to have to reload, right? I have this with my bunny girls on top of her skill too. She never has to reload, right? She never has to reload with the bunny girls, right? And if you guys want, I can show you guys that at the end of the video. Um, But yeah, I would say four piece attack on everything. One line of max ammo capacity if you're running her with the bunny girls just so that you never have to reload. Um, and then also you probably want to go for charge damage. You could go for the elemental effect as well. The elemental elemental damage though as well. You can get a line or two for that. But your main thing should be attack percent. Then you can mix and match between max ammo capacity. You can mix and match between charge damage. Charge speed if you really want it. I don't know. Maybe the more charge speed you have throughout the overload. Maybe it'll make much more of a difference. But I feel like 0 0.3 seconds is such a short amount of time. That because of the delay with this character. You're not even going to see a difference. That's just what I think. Right. And testing. But attack percent. And then mix and match between elemental damage dealt. Um, max ammo capacity charge damage if you want crit rate crit damage not necessary but if you want it by all means but mainly max ammo capacity elemental damage charge damage and then guaranteed have the attack percent that's really how it should be in terms of her best partner as i said this entire video essentially bunny girls noir right this is a very good character for her right um any type of damage buffer is going to be good so realistically the school girls but the bunny girls make it that she never has to reload that's a pretty good feat as well um and then also because she has a lot of aoe's happening blanc giving all enemies the damage taken increased debuff is actually helping out this scarlet in a big big way right anytime you enter the full burst so bunny girls is definitely a great option again the school girls fantastic option when it comes to dealing damage right this scarlet's going to be hitting hard whether she's hitting with a core or she's not and because again all her skills on her or all her damage i'll put on her skill one does affect um or is based off final attack the attack buff that someone like naga gives to all allies is going to be implemented there and then obviously the damage dealt buff that what's her name tia gives to um this character right here tia gives to the scarlet is definitely going to be very very helpful there right um there's other team comps that i'm thinking of but it's not necessarily like a must run with her because at the end of the day she's just a damage dealer what you would run with any of your other damage dealers is what you would run with her but i feel like the most notable ones are going to definitely be the bunny girls and the school girls right obviously when it comes to the aoe bunny girls are helping there when it comes to her having infinite bullets bunny girls are having there when it comes to big 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 damage that's where the school girls come to play and then whoever else you want to run again she's a damage dealer so whatever you would run for any other damage dealer that's really what you would run for the scarlet but she is a fantastic character i would say invest into her in terms of getting deuce i answered all that stuff right i would say build into her give her overload gear do everything for her she's uh probably she is the hardest hitting character in the game i would say um in general right because i feel like lamilla still would hit harder no we actually tested that lamilla does not hit harder than this character even against course she's really just that good right i mean it would be it's, it's obvious right to have these going off damn near efficient nine attacks with this character is efficient 
but let me show you guys what it looks like with the bunny girls and like the infinite reload speed and i'll end off the video Alrighty, so we're going in and i did not mean to say infinite reload speed infinite reload i realized i said infinite uh reload speed there but when we get to that you know full burst you guys are gonna see right now because of the you know stick or the stat on my overload um you guys are gonna see boom 26 is where she's gonna average right 26 is gonna be around there bop 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 then she's gonna have all these bullets right i don't think it will drop right i think it's just like that forever right and then boom by the time we get into the next reload set boom 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 and then she's back and it's just like that the entire time so she's never going to reload this is going to be very very efficient and again because this character blanc here debuffs all these enemies with the damage taken debuff increase you're gonna see why it's quite crazy to run her with the scarlet right look she still hasn't reload yet but then she's just doing aoe's every three attacks every three attacks she's doing aoe's right well then you're saying harder bop 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 and then yeah it should be like that right um modernia is more invested in my scarlet still so makes sense why she's you know keeping up right she's max limit broken 10 10 10 everything you can give her right second most invested character on my account after red hood of course but yeah the scarlet overall is like quite crazy when it comes to damage right she's quite quite crazy when it comes to damage right but yeah running her with the bunny girls is kind of like a must or not a must but it's one of the better options either the bunny girls or the school girls but you guys let me know what you think hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace